Hello and welcome to another Esri Canada video tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn a number of the fundamental skills for geocoding data using a GIS. Geocoding is the process of assigning geographic locations to point data based on a descriptive attribute such as a street address, postal code, or city name. A geocoding service is used to convert the descriptive information into a point feature on a map with precise geographic coordinates. For more information on geocoding, please read the background information section in the associated geocoding tutorial handout. In this tutorial, you will geocode bank locations in the Oakville, Ontario area using a table of addresses, a road network shapefile, and your own custom address locator. The data for the tutorial can be found on the Esri Canada Education website. Let's begin by extracting the data that you will use in this tutorial. Navigate to the Geocode 10x zip file which you downloaded. Unzip the data to a location that is easy to remember. In this video, we will be using the C drive. Once the data has been unzipped, open ArcMap. Once ArcMap is loaded, click Cancel on the Getting Started window that appears. The first thing that you will want to do is access your data. Select the Add Data button and navigate to the Geocode 10x folder. You may need to connect to the folder first. Once you are there, highlight all the data in the folder, and click Add. The data that you just added contains the enumeration areas for the town of Oakville, as well as a road network and a table of bank addresses. If you don't see the banks table within the table of contents, make sure that the list by source icon is selected. Although the banks are not visible on the map, the data is still accessible by opening the layers table. Notice that all the bank addresses are listed here. In order to display the banks on the map, you'll need to use a tool called an address locator. To do this, first open the catalog window. You may wish to take advantage of the auto hide feature to minimize the catalog window when it is not in use. You can open the window at any time by hovering your mouse over it. Right click on the Geocode 10x folder and select New Address Locator. In the window that appears, click on the browse icon next to the Address Locator Style section. From the list that appears, highlight the option titled U.S. Address, Dual Ranges, and click OK. Select the Roads layer as your reference data. You will notice that a number of fields within the Field Map section will automatically be filled in using data from the Roads layer. Rename your Output Address Locator style to Oakville and save it within the Geocode 10x folder. When you are finished, click OK. Once the geoprocessing is finished, the new address locator should be visible within the catalog window. Return now to the table of contents and right-click on the banks table. Select the geocode addresses option. In the window that appears, select the Oakville address locator that you just made and click OK. In the new window, select the geocoding options box. Set your spelling sensitivity to 60 and then click OK. Make sure your output is going to the correct folder, and then press OK to execute the geocode. The geocode shouldn't take very long to complete. When it is finished, you will be left with a screen that is similar to this. Notice that although 23 banks were matched successfully, 3 banks were left unmatched. In order to fix this, you will need to perform an interactive rematch. Press the rematch button to open the interactive rematch window. Set it so that the unmatched addresses display and highlight the first record that appears. Notice that the address for 282 Lakeshore Road East is spelled incorrectly. The L is missing. Each of these unmatched addresses contain an input error that will need to be corrected before they can be geocoded properly. Correct the spelling in the address section and press enter on your keyboard. Select the candidate with the highest score from the list and click the match button. The address is now geocoded. Notice that an M has appeared in the status and match type fields. If a number of potential candidates exist, you can use the Zoomed Candidate button to help locate the correct candidate on your map. Correct the two remaining unmatched addresses on your map. When you have finished matching the addresses, click Close. An option that is available at version 10 of ArcGIS for Desktop is to use the ArcGIS Online Geocoding Service. In the table of contents, right-click again on the banks table and select Geocode Addresses. Select the option for 10.0 North America Geocode Service, ArcGIS Online, and click OK. Set the state input to direct the province field, and set the zip input to direct the postal code field. 
Give your output a descriptive title and save it to the correct folder. When you are ready, click OK. Congratulations! You have now successfully geocoded a list of addresses using two different types of geocoding services. If you would like to learn how to do more with your newly created data, then visit any of our other tutorials for ArcGIS.